Hello and welcome, Kobolds, to Missing Hiker. We're about to find a hiker, a missing hiker, by the name of Ethan. Not Ethan Winters, Wrong. just Ethan. His name is Ethan. Anyway, my brother Ethan, no last name, no relation, is missing for around 24 hours. That's a long time. Your brother is dead. Our brother is dead. Ethan is dead. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm opening this in a weird mood today. He went on a hiking trip in a favorite rocket ship near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. I'm sorry, the police said. Your brother is dead. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I'm a vigilante hiker finder. Oh, are we actually driving? Okay, it's time. Let's do the test. Can we drive into a tree? Aw, oh, we can, but it doesn't do anything. Wait, can we just go backwards? Can we leave? No, I'm actually I'm actually not entirely, you know, certain about this whole event. I think we should just go home, you know? You know, really, it's the thought that counts. See, we, you know, we were like, maybe we should find him. And then, you know, I decided, would our brother really want us to ri- God damn it. <laughs> anyway, look up at the beautiful, beautiful moon, I think. I can't tell beyond all the rapidly changing pixels. <laughs> Do you know how big my file size is gonna be? <laughs> it's gonna be huge! It's time for a perfectly relaxing drive through this wintry area. I'm glad. You know the good thing is about these roads? They're actually self-warming. They can melt off all of the snow instantaneously. The cost that- you know, the reason that they're lacking resource- Bonk. <laughs> The reason that they're lacking resources- oh dear, Woro- Woro Road? Woro Road? Who names something Woro? That's so strange. I shouldn't be making fun of road names. Like, that could mean something very important in another culture and I'd be making fun of a road name somewhere. Somewhere off by Red Mountain. Yes, we get it, there's deer, thank you. How many deer are there? Oh, wait, 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 I think I see something. Well, besides these up, uh, these conspicuously placed signs, no, they need to make sure that we're not going to drive off the road. I do, <laughs> as much as I'm taking the piss here, as much as I am taking so much piss right now, I am, I still like this. All right, let's do it. I wasn't expecting that to actually have a consequence. Oh no, there's no there's no checkpoints or anything. We made the decision to just immediately die. I'm gonna count that as ending one, okay? Also, I should probably point out that the snow here is radioactive. That's why the snow is the only thing that's lit right now. It's actually, um, it's actually got a radioactive isotope form of water. I don't think that exists, but you know what? It exists now in my world, so um, yeah, no, that's why the snow is glowing. Oh, hey, look, it's a car. It's a car. We got this. <gasps> that was close enough to actually get, make my heart stop for a second. Literally, my heart stopped for a moment. Hey, buddy. I just wanted to say hi. And they're acting like they, they don't even want to, like, lean out their window. I should park at this gas station and ask if they've seen my brother. Here's a parking. Can I do a parking? We're going to do... We're going to park, okay? This is about as well as I can park IRL. It's fine. It's fine. You shouldn't be worried. I also generally do not drive on the on the wrong side of the road. I should probably point that out. It's very important that you drive on the right side of the road. No matter what country you're in, everyone knows that <laughs> the right side of the road. I should probably stop before that's getting me, gets me into trouble. You're wow. You're you're looking very. You're like a T pose, but not. Wait, hold on. Anyway, hello! You look awfully surly. I think that's the right word. Is that the right word? Do you mind if I check in your back room for a moment? Come on, no. No entry! How dare you! Wait, is that mine? No, oh, maybe it's yours. You seem to be getting- Where, Wait, where'd you get the cart from? Wait a second. There's carts? Where are the carts from? How did you get a cart? I don't have a cart. All I got are these wimpy ass little bags. Do I have zoomer vision? No, I don't have zoomer vision. That's sad. Hey, buddy, has anybody ever told you about how much money you could make with lotion sales and essential oils? You see, if I sell you this starting package, you can start selling right away. And for every person that you refer to me to sell them a starting package, you get a cut. It's this amazing deal.
why they look like such a dweeb. They're they're very they're awfully businessy for being such out a late at time. Maybe they got off work like super duper late. I don't know. Hey, what do you want? I am searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Your brother's probably freaking dead. Have you talked to the cops yet? Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this, especially in this area. They'll heckin' knife you. What do you mean? Hey, look, man, I worked pretty late. I just- <gasps> I was right the first time. I knew it. I'm psychic. I can read the developer's mind. I'm reading it right now. I'm reading it right now. <laughs> Gotta clear my throat. Just hold in. <coughs> Sorry for that weird ASMR. Anyway. Yeah, I work pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. Could you, like, leave me alone? I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know, okay? I don't want to join your pyramid scheme, all right? Come on, gosh. All right, I understand. Sorry for bothering you. Gosh, what an ass. Annoying. We got an achievement called annoying. How dare you, developer? How dare you? I mean, I saw that coming. I saw that coming a mile away. I'm reading their mind right now. What's up, buddy? What can I do for you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What can I do for you, sir? I'm here searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. It's got a little Hello Kitty dangly hanging off the right side of it. Let me think for a second. Uh, mm, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things, some water and a few snacks. You trying to find him? Have you told the police already? Yes, yes I did in fact, but they said they don't have the resources for a search right now and that he's probably dead. They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. How come you didn't get that in the intro? That's not what they said in the intro. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there the last decade. Sir, I'm gonna need to see your hands. How many people can you fit in those hands? What's a handful to you, okay? What is a handful of people? That could be one single person, like you grab their shoulder, you grab their neck, like in Blade and Sorcery, and just, like throw them off a cliff. That's side sidetracked, side note. Or it could be like, you know, like five people, like each, each person gets a finger. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams of weird noises coming from the woods. She should be careful, especially going there this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on in. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Like bears. Big ol' bears. Big ol' husky bears. <sighs> Thanks, I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. <gasps> Tabasco! I love Tabasco. Anyway, I'm guessing that's this person's car. Can I like vandalize it? Can I key their car because they were rude to me and they hurt my feelings? I'm just kidding. I wouldn't actually car key key car someone's any anything with anyone. That would be mean. Anyway. Let us go look up the mountain. It's it's awfully convenient that there's a trail like right behind this mount or right behind the convenience store right here. Like, that's pretty nice, honestly. Like, imagine, like, on your work breaks, you could just, like, run up the mountain, run up the hill around here, and, like, it'd be great. You could probably have a lot of fun. This is pretty spooky, though. I like the forest setting here. It's very spooky. Hello? Any Wendigo out here willing to give me a nice big old hug? A big old fluffy, fluffy hug. I'm gonna hear like the branches. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> how did I manage to get so badly turned around? I was like, wait, where'd the path go? Yeah, my sense of well, my sense of direction is actually pretty okay. But like, the problem is, is like I'll notice a tree and I'll be like, wow, that's a pretty tree. And then suddenly I'm th I'm three miles off the beaten path. We're gonna wind up so lost that Zoro's gonna find his way into our into our game. Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute, hold on. You can tent you can just pitch a tent anywhere? You can just pitch a tent literally right off the path? That seems a little strange, don't you think? Are you allowed to do that? My brother's tent looked entirely different. I should still take a closer look. Well maybe we'll find something someone else that was eaten by those nasty nasty <gasps> Oh my fucking gods! Oh, that actually made me jump. Jesus. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the fuck are you? You scared the shit out of me. I scared you? I almost had a heart attack myself. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. 
I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Tall, green backpack, Hello Kitty, hanging off the side on the keychain? No, I haven't seen him. Wait a second. You don't even know how he looks like. Look man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. That's really strange. Hold on, sir. Could you be one of them? Skinwalkers? I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? How deep? Do you want to take me with you and maybe go on a deep forest romp? Yes, I'll search around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. <laughs> Little bits and pieces. <laughs> Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something, but last night I had my tent a bit up north, and I heard some weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. Just a crying child. Creep me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. <laughs> oh, what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? Look, I play Overwatch 2, and I'm in plat, so, like, I carry all the time. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm talking about a piece, you know? Like, something for protection? You carry protection on you? You mean a gun? No, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's, like, way too dangerous to go deeper in the forest at night. But I'm not gonna stop you. I just want to sleep, okay? Also, one last thing. Don't creep up on a tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. I carry. I carry a piece. I carry protection with me, like, all the time in these tents, you know, just in case. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Wait, hold on. He's upset that we're just going to random tents in the woods when he's literally, like, ten feet off of the path? Like, if someone sees that, they're gonna be, like, they're gonna be curious? Come on. Good luck with the search. I don't trust you at all. Oh, I can't even see inside your tent. What's inside your tent, buddy? I don't believe you. You're one of them skinwalkers, aren't you? You're walking inside a skin. Nobody walks inside of skin. I don't trust anyone with skin. Don't trust anyone, you know? That's what they say. Don't trust anyone, not even yourself. It's because of it's because of the skin. In the very least, you can run, which is good. So And we always have the moon in our back, so we kinda know which direction we should head. There's not really a whole lot going on here. Although, judging by this game's use of jump scares, I have a feeling that that might be the type of horror aesthetic that we will eventually encounter. <gasps> rocks, the most suspicious of all things. I'm onto you, rocks. I'm onto you. I've seen plenty of rocks in my time. You know what, rocks? They're up to no good, okay? Rocks are never up to any good. You see them just lying around in the forest? Oh, -ho! rocks or government surveillance drones. These? Look at them. Definitely drones. It's good at setting up the ambiance, but so far, I will say, getting really cold, I should set up my tent on the left side of the road. I sure am glad that there's a big, large, and flattened space for my tent. That's great. Do I even have to? Oh, no, we have to. We actually physically cannot walk any further. I'm guessing we can just... Oh, okay, that's actually kind of neat, though. Yo, we could just place it anywhere, I guess. My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. He's saying it's hard to pitch a tent. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, anyone um, watching us? I'm going to turn around and there's just going to be something behind us. I know I'm going to get another heart attack. Yo, what if it's that guy? What if they come back? Oh no, I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> it's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. That's great. I, oh, uh, it's going, it's like... Being in a tight and closed space and knowing that there is just a vast world out there that you cannot observe. I think that's just called anxiety. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if it was real or imagined. I'm betting that it is our buddy from earlier. It could be my brother screaming for help. What if we just don't leave? I think we have to, though. I don't think we have too, too much of a choice. A so light deeper in the woods. I need to see if that could be my brother. I'm guessing it's that one. Is there another tent down there? Or is that a home? That actually kind of looks like a home. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we should go knock, knock, knocking. The moon is bright. The moon is bright. 
I had a really stupid thought. Press the upvote button if you've ever made a snow angel. Like, oh my gosh. Have you ever, like, made a snow angel in the snow? Up oh, I hate that. Can you not? What if I just turn it off? I'm just gonna pretend like we don't have a flashlight until... <laughs> until then. It's great. The flashlight can't flash if it's not on, right? That's my brother's backpack. Where's the Hello Kitty? Oh my gods, they took the Hello Kitty. No! Oh. It's completely empty. Nothing in here. Why is there just a place outside with nothing in it? I hate this. Backpack, backpack. I'm gonna look backwards. Oh good, I didn't regret that decision. This looks like a home, but like, that's so strange. It's literally just out in the middle of nowhere. Hello? Okay, well it's very tiny. There can't possibly be much in here, right? There can't possibly be anything in here. Oh, it does look like an actual home. Hello? Great, my flashlight's gonna flash and then go out, isn't it? It's going to. Is that a liver? It's not delivery, it's DiGiornery. Press E to inspect. What the hell, someone made a picture of my tent and my car? It's probably that jerk from earlier. Oh jeez. I'm not very, um, oh it's, it's, and it's my car too, which means that they were tracking us when we, like, you know. Great, generator. Yo, is, are we gonna, oh, I can close it too. Maybe I should keep it closed just in case. Don't wanna let in a draft, you know? It probably doesn't cost too much to heat up a, a place like this, but you know, just in case, it's probably a good idea. Oh good, I'm glad that nothing is in that wardrobe. And what is that? Is that a TV tower, or computer tower? Oh no, that's the furnace. Okay, great. I don't think we're gonna find too much else, so I think we're expected to start the generator. No, okay. Oh, that's awfully specific looking. Why did you embed your cleaver inside of your hammer? Inside of your meat pounder. That's for pounding meat, don't you know? It's for, you know, really, when you really want to... Also, the meat hook is kind of terrifying, but maybe they just really like venison. Oh, you know what? I bet that they recently, like, you know, they recently got their fill of venison, and I, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing else here. I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to find, or... Am I supposed to turn you on? I'm not entirely sure. Did I just leave? Am I just supposed to leave now? Oh my god! <laughs> Great, fantastic. That scared the absolute hell out of me. Your body was never found. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it, as always, of course. I'm happy to see that this had some more interactive elements that I don't often see, like being able to actually drive the car and park the car, and then having those elements reflected in what's actually like happening in the game is kind of neat. And also being able to pitch your tent and stuff like that. Having those big long paths is good in setting up suspense, but also like generally nothing feels like it actually happens during those moments. So they're just a bit tedious, and I think I'm going to mostly cut those out because there's just not much happening. Not even spoopy sounds or anything like that. Or at least nothing that I encountered. I'd be curious if any playthroughs are different, but it was definitely good at providing a sense of at least the world being more open and not quite as like condensed into this very small space. But it would have been nice to have something to actually like do in that space. Although I will say, I'm still so to that first guy. I think they're a skinwalker. They had skin, number one, they had skin. Number two, we, they didn't ever try walking, which means I think they're trying to throw us off their trail. And number three, because I said so, they're sus. That aside, enjoy the game, enjoy the scare, and sleep well tonight, everyone.